Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'm going to showcase a brand new feature available in SOLIDWORKS 2018 to help you design faster. Have you ever had an idea and either not had a mouse or wanted to sketch it by hand rather than being constrained by using a mouse? With this new release and your Windows 10 touch enabled device, now you can with touch-based sketching. I'm using a laptop with a touch screen here and I'm working on the gas cap for my RC car and I've decided that I really want to make it unique by adding a design to the front of it. I'm going to put a cloud to symbolize a gas cloud and I have that cloud picture inside of a sketch right here. So I'm going to unhide that just to give me something to trace on top of. The first thing I want to point out is the new Sketch Ink Command Manager tab, and that's where all of my touch sketch commands will be. Of course, if this isn't on, you can right click on any of the tabs to turn it on. I'll start the cloud sketch by selecting this face right here and then hitting Sketch. Now, of course, you can hit the pull down here and see that there's a sketch, 3D sketch, and 3D sketch on plane. So all of those are available. I'm using a stylus. You can do all of this with your finger if you like. Now, the first command after I go into the sketch is the pen command. That's where we can set the definitions for our pen. You can choose different colors here, orange, yellow, green. I like green, so I'm going to use green. And then you can size up how thick you want that line to be. Next to that is the eraser where it works very closely to power trim where you swipe across an entity and it deletes it. And then we also have the selection tool here where you would select pieces of geometry on the screen rather than drawing. I'm going to go back to the pen mode here and then I'm going to talk about this command here uh, touch that's next to this select command and what that does is when that button isn't pressed when I swipe my screen here you see it's moving around the model so I'm really not able to sketch anything at this point I'm going to go back to the normal mode and then turn that on and now when I use my stylus on my screen I'll be actually doing pen strokes Next to that command is the auto shape command. So when I do my pen strokes, it'll be a conceptual shape that's not a SOLIDWORKS sketch entity. So I'll use that to trace over the cloud here. And it smooths it out to smooth shapes, but they're not SOLIDWORKS sketch entities yet. I'm going to turn back on the selection command so I can hide that cloud picture and now I can see my handiwork here. Now I don't want to keep this as a conceptual shape once I'm done with it so I can select it and I have this new command here called update to entities. I can select that and you see it turns it into SOLIDWORKS sketch geometry. I'm going to go back to the pen command and I'm going to use the other command here called auto sketch entities. That's if you want to go straight to sketch entities, you're not doing conceptual shapes at all. And I'll use that to do a lightning bolt there. Now I have a sketch that I can use to create a feature like a boss or a cut or a split line if I'd like. In today's video, I went over the new touch sketch mode inside SOLIDWORKS 2018. Thanks so much for watching. 